Oh, okay. No, Bernie's live now. Oh, okay. Great. And, and I'm very loud. I need to. I need to keep it down. All right, uh, this is a good level for me. Okay, so we are here on Bernie's channel. We have a very special guest today playing Life is Strange 2 with us. That guest is Bernie. This is what a you, surprise. This is where you say yeah. something. Uh, and Bernie, I need you to give at least two speeches about your experience <laughs> with Life is Strange and, yeah. No, seriously, you could just say anything that you want to say about two. That was either, like either four one, speeches, either think? one or yeah, either one or two, whatever you uh, want to say. Go ahead and say it. I'd have to do it at least four times. That's how many times I heard I heard <laughs> you personally do it. Yes, yesterday. I, I believe I only did it twice. That's patently untrue. Anyway, carry on. Um, okay, so I think we had ultimately had somewhat similar thoughts about the first episode, which is that the story was interesting, you cared about what happened to these people, but it was a little slow, um, and maybe, like, the writing wasn't necessarily super great. Um, I sort of had two thoughts that, to sort of add on to whatever I said at the end last time, which is, uh, and just chime in if you, any of this is meaningful or not to you. Uh, thought number one is that Life is Strange by its nature, like, is a very contemplative game. Like, there are moments where you sit down and just think, there are moments, there's always like a scene where you're on a train or a car or a bus and it's just, you know, someone plucking on a guitar and just, you know, music yeah, and quiet for, you know, long periods of time. Now in this game, they added the idea that you're going to sit down and draw. So you don't need in a life is strange given that you have all that i feel like you don't need in a life is strange game to have scenes that are also atmospheric and that was kind of what we got in the last game and it's kind of like you know it, it's too much um you know obviously i understand that not everything in the game is going to be like advance the plot like you're going to walk into a teenager's room there's going to be a poster you're going to be able to turn on music you know and not all of it is gonna like be quote unquote important, but I feel like you, you know, you really should have scenes that these some somewhere in the scene should advance the plot when there's so much other stuff in these games that that doesn't already before you even do anything. Yeah. Well, I said you could talk. Oh no, yeah. I'm not commenting. I'm just explaining. I'm uh, just welcoming viewers. That's all. And. Uh, <laughs> And the second thing that occurred to me, which, you know, this is different than Life is Strange 1, is that, at least for the moment, unless it changes, and it could, you are not the person who has the superpowers. You are like the Chloe. You are yeah, the... Yeah, I, I noted that. Yeah. I definitely noted that. So, that's, you know, so you're kind of in a weird position, and not only are you not the person who has the superpowers, you kind of don't want the person who has the superpowers to use the superpowers. You're like the uh, Rick Jones to the Hulk. So you, it's like they've kind of put you in a strange situation here. So yeah, it's and it's weird because, you know, the, part of uh, part of the first game is that you get it's part, it's a fun video mechanic to use your special power and now you don't have that ability. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, and that and that power was, you know, first of all, you know, you have sort of the power fantasy of you have superpowers and you can use them, and then the nature of the power was like interesting in terms of storytelling. You know, that it was a time rewind that intrinsically, you know, creates storytelling. You know, it, it messes with the actual storytelling when you do that. And it creates branches, you know. It, it, it was a perfect, brilliant idea. So this is like 
not as clear how it's gonna like you know he, the kid's got superpowers and it's like a superhero story but it's not as clear like how that translates but uh yeah did you did you see the end do I need to fill you in on anything that happened after you uh, signed off? Me? No, I, I watched the rest of it uh, today. And, uh, yeah, I, um, I kind of dug it. Yeah, I thought it was ridiculous that he, that on the bus he just started telling the story of two brothers who <laughs> lost their dad and had to, <laughs> right. had to go on a road trip. <laughs> right, worst story, yeah, except they're wolves. Yeah, worst, worst story ever. But yeah, and like I was saying at the end there, you know, we don't know, we don't have any, you know, in, in, in the first game it's like, oh, we have to solve who, where Rachel ever went. We have to fix the timeline, you know, we have to stop the tornado. You, you, you know what you're gonna do. Here's it's just like, we're trying to go somewhere. Maybe we don't know anybody, you know, it's all gonna be, we have no idea what is driving the plot. So I don't know if that's good or bad, but find that yeah I mean again there's no mystery besides like the nature of the kids powers but otherwise like we saw what happened it wasn't like um, we know exactly how his dad died we know exactly how um, the cop got uh, whatever happened to him and uh, we know exactly why they're on the run it's like there's no mystery at all Right. I, I mean, I, I assume that the, you know, it's kind of weird because you would think that theoretically being thrown across the street doesn't kill you, but I guess we have to assume somehow, you know, it killed him. Um, although, you know, I don't know if anyone has literally said the word. I don't know if anyone has ever literally said that a cop died. I don't, I don't think he necessarily died, nor do I think it's particularly important. It's just that there uh, well, was, it's he important. was assaulted or whatever. Well, but you could go back and face justice, perhaps, for assaulting a cop a lot, you know, a lot easier than you could go back and face justice for murdering a cop. Okay. Uh, sure. Not again. Right, and, uh, you know, the and the guy, the you know, the racist guy, he didn't kill him, so... Yeah, we, we don't... That's sort of a side thing, is we don't 100% know, but we, you know... But what you're saying is correct. We know that his powers did this, and we know what his powers do. After the second time it happened, it was pretty apparent it was him, and he could do this. So when you find out, you know, in the hotel that, you know, all the stuff is flying around, it's not a surprise, because he knew that. Oh, well, I did play uh, Captain Spirit on the PlayStation, but obviously this doesn't know about that, so... I wonder if it would have imported it. Probably. I might have played it on the PC just to play it if I knew that was going to happen. Whatever. Once upon a time... Because it's free. In a wild, wild world, there were two wolf brothers living in their home lair with their papa wolf. They all lived happily together. I mean, this, this does serve as a one day, you know, last time on... Hunters yeah. took their dad away. And it's more creative. Forever. Well, slightly more creative than... So now yes. the brothers were alone. So, so it's it kind of like, didn't Borderlands do this where Marcus at the beginning would sort of tell you the metaphorical story? the great big forest. The wolf brothers wandered for days and nights. Learning how to live on their own for the first time. They slept the little in little wolf woods, like chuckle bars. Creepy creatures. <laughs> right. Barely ate anything. They eventually yeah, found a piece really of orchard. You really barely ate anything. And were able this to is eat This is literally the locations but that they, didn't they, know. they visited. <laughs> yeah, there's no... I'll just try to tie them up. But the wolf Metaphor brothers managed like to escape. Barely present. With the help of a friendly bear. Okay, so now he showed them how to survive. Seth Rogen is a bear. And helped them find a warm camp for the night. That's when the big brother discovered that the little one was not an ordinary wolf, but a super wolf. Yeah, yeah. Super That's how wolf. they found themselves even further. Headed to the faraway land of their pop. Where they hope to find peace.
Okay, so, you know, in terms of making decisions, we'll talk about it, but, but I'll make the decisions. You can say what you would do, but you don't count. Yeah, that's cool. I'm, I'm trying to actually do other things also, so don't count on me being... All right, so if you start talking, I'll pause present. it, otherwise I won't. Although I'm trying to trying to figure out what exactly is different from what you just achieved by having uh, on Discord that I, you know, been I spent the last three years trying to do this stuff <laughs> because you know I'm seeing I'm seeing your screen. Uh, well, I guess the, the, the huge difference, yeah, the huge difference is I'm seeing a game a game window of yours, right. and the only way I can show you try with this one. Um, Jackbox is through OBS, That one's too easy. Which is a little bit different. Don't brag. It was too heavy for Whatever. you a few days ago. Like, if I had Jackbox on the, the, the Mac, it might, this might, it's this, I think, literally the same thing. We but could, all, we could all be in Discord, yeah? Never the bad. But the fact that I'm pulling it into a PS4 is, I think, makes a big difference. Yeah. Anyway. Let's try to lift something else. Okay, Not too so heavy, he's, though. He's uh, Luke I'm a Skywalker slash Ray here, learning how to move things. Oh, oh right. Let's look at the dog. I'm so glad Daniel took this little girl with I us. I am not. This is still a uh, ridiculous. Uh, okay. Yeah, okay, get that one. How about trying out that rock over there? Just one more time. We already tried yesterday. And the day before. It's too far. I can't reach it. Just... One more time. Oh, I'm so close. There is no try. I can feel it. Exactly. This is a couple of months later. You know, it's it's December then. Oh, do we want to lift the? Oh, we want to lift the dog. All right, all right. You yes, I'm into this. Lift him right into the river. Try and lift mushroom. Are you kidding? I don't want to hurt her. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're probably right. So they've been Let's leave the puppy out already. of this. Wow. What's what's up? So they've been at this for months. Right? Out, out here for months. Yeah. I wonder if they'll explain how that works. Yeah, How about thirty bucks. That one. I can do it with the small rocks, but not the big ones. You can do this. Trust me. Just relax. Focus. I wonder if there's a way I can like you can see I'll if try. I'm away or not. Just by looking at my Discord status. Or if you're even paying attention to Discord. I no, don't think I'm on full screen over here. Yeah. <sighs> Whoa! Holy shit! I did it! <laughs> like a boss. You're getting good at you this. You see that mushroom? That was the biggest rock ever. We're going to be able to steal so many things with this power. Oh, by the way, he is nine, not six. I don't know why we both thought he was six, but he's nine. Oh, okay, thank God. That, seriously, well, that makes a lot of difference for me. But even so, like, he's a nine-year-old who doesn't big? understand it. I mean, yeah. a lot of things he it's didn't understand were things that a six-year-old should understand. Never mind a nine-year-old. I think it bothers me more that of a six-year-old acting too precocious for to believe that oh, a nine-year-old would happen to Daniel. To grasp. But at least I can help. All right, lift this tiny one. This should be easy. Yeah, can you gonna throw this rock in the river? Oh yeah! Control the power. Just watch. Just by having him do it. It's like having a pet that gets things from yeah, the yeah, 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 yeah. RPG. We are. Splash! Basically, are in charge at least for now. Okay. 
Let's show Daniel some more stuff to play with before we call it a day. Well, I guess I'm not supposed to go this way. Lift the dog. I want you to do it. You don't even have to throw him in the river. Just shooting range. Not your usual shooting range, right? How oh, about those cans? Back. Can you fly them all together without dropping any? Sure. Look. <laughs> That's awesome, dude. You're getting way better at this. <laughs> Come on, dude. That's just the start. Let's try something else. Cool. You're like Coach Aaron. You're my power coach. So if a snowball fight? Oh, <laughs> not oh, yet. I like. Oh. This is a new exercise, young apprentice. I thought he was gonna make. I thought he was gonna make. See if you can stop yeah, this yeah, in the yeah. air. Yeah, do this. <laughs> cool. Okay, but you better not hit me. Like that time you gave me a bruise. Serious. You won't let me, right? Try it. Uh, how about right at your head? <laughs> Sean! <laughs> you suck! I said don't hit me, jerk! Uh, 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 Sorry, yeah. I thought you would stop it. I shouldn't piss his kid off. Probably shouldn't piss his kid off, he'll... Kill me and everybody. Wait, you know? so what's why are you throwing a snowball? To see if you can deflect it. Yeah, I just missed the last two minutes. Oh. Dude! You almost hit our dog! Learn how to aim! I'm sorry, Shroom. But you did stop it, Daniel. You learned fast. Let's do it one more time. But near me. Uh and not super hard. It's just a snowball, Daniel. I'm going to do it right at him super hard. Again. And it's not because I don't like him. It's to teach a lesson. Think fast! <laughs> yep. Stop! Knew it. Whoa! Daniel! That's, that's what, what you that's, get! That's good. Happy? That's what you're actually going to do. Hell yeah, I am. Yeah. That was awesome. You did it, man. I did so you better be nice to me. <coughs> hey, that still sounds nasty. You're not getting better. I told um, you. I'm fine. Just coronavirus. a little beat. <laughs> well, you need to rest now. Superhero. Yeah. He, can, he can wish me can into the cornfield if I piss yeah. him off. Let's just fill up the canteens before we head back. Yeah. That cough has been going on for days, Daniel. I really don't like that. I told you. I'm fine. Uh, how are we, we going to see a doctor? And outside this for is, a while. This is America. <laughs> we should fill these up now. Don't want to go out during the night. I think also the voice actors are not as good as uh, Ashley Birch and uh, whoever was Max. She had this weird, throaty voice. Here we go. She was good. The Hella Tanker is over the wildfire zone. Get ready for water extraction. Ranger Diaz. Yeah, I'll compliment that. Nice work, Daniel. Glad to see our training sessions are paying off. Uses Thanks to you. So thing. glad I don't have to touch that water. It's too fucking cold. Uh, oops. Sorry. I said fucking. <laughs> it's fine out here. There's no one to hear you curse. Say whatever the fuck you want. Cool. I know. I know he's going to... What? Now he's what did you find, it. Shroom? He shouldn't say it. Come on, let's go run after this damn dog. 
By the Finding way, that house was a miracle. I was correct that I'm we can't if stay you much oh, longer. Oh, what Not is again. this? I don't Gotta know if I could got an animal anyway. Oh, uh, huh. Interesting. It's an animal trap. But yes, I was worried last game if he so if he sees me stealing, will he learn how to steal things? And the answer actually is yes, that he will steal something from Brody if he saw you stealing, like a little hula girl that goes on the dashboard. So. I Daniel's getting cold. Good, figured that's Let's how get video games work, and I was right. You're such a good girl. Uh, so it looks like we actually live here. Sorry, guys. We don't take any more guests. Oh, I also <laughs> tried not attacking the next door neighbor, and she loves it. And <coughs> what happens hey, is get over here. You know, you don't fight him instantly, but then as you're walking away, he says something like, Careful, "You guys suck. Puppies. That's why your mom left you." Gold. And then you attack him. So it's the same thing. Yeah, I find these games. <laughs> Have very limited actual. Must have been a really sweet spot to get a tan in the summer. Because I would have to tell a, basically a single story. Yeah. And like the only place that diverges is like. I think the oh, most thing. I almost forgot to check our traps today. They'll do is like kill off a character based on your actions. And then, but that character, you know, won't appear or will appear throughout the rest try of the to game. Fish it in still the won't make a difference to the story. But we really sucked. Right. Yeah. In Walking Dead, you. I guess spoilers. You you have the choice to uh, choose between saving one character or another, and then when you you know whatever you do, the other character dies not that long afterward. Because like, otherwise I'd have to make a whole entire game. Daniel's not getting any better. You know, around he needs medicine, in a real house. One where you killed that character, one where you didn't. So even heating. Even when you have a decision, yeah. it ends up in the same place. Not later. my kind of weeds. Right, so I find it I find it interesting that that you're constantly thinking your your decisions like you're making the wrong decisions, but like you know, with real with real consequences. But I don't think it really makes too much of a difference. Right? Yeah. No. I mean, I think it's just suspension of disbelief. You know, like you. Daniel's getting cold. If you're no, I like Let's that get you're inside into it. Pet, you know, you're taking everything seriously. That's how. That's what the game wants you to think. <laughs> yeah. Daniel's <laughs> definition of a cool snowman. I like it. We really nailed it with his two-headed snow ogre. I'm not sure isn't even afraid of them anymore. Yeah, he isn't even... Right, oh. puppy? Uh, old canoe. Huh. The family who owned that cabin really seemed to enjoy themselves here. I guess it doesn't matter. We obviously can't put that... I never come here. back. All right, let me let me sit down. Too much action here, telling someone else to lift things. Got to rest. We tried to fish in the river, but we really sucked. I feel like this month has just flied over us. We're so lucky we found that old cabin. Yeah. It's curious to go in here. Gave us time to rest and what their life is. Process all that happened. Prody was right. We're stronger now. We look out for each other. We're in this together. These woods are so peaceful, so quiet. No plains, no highways, just the river. Continuously flowing. I wish we could stay here longer. But Daniel's health is getting worse every day. Yeah, what? And the food is running low. What's your plan about that? Will we need to move again? I think 
maybe part of the reason that they, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if they kind of wanted to show off. I mean, this game looks so much better than the last game. I wouldn't be surprised if they wanted to show off. Hey, we made an entire freaking forest and a river really. and really? a picnic area and like, I can. All these trees. You eat like a bear, but you don't gain any weight. Because I worked it off. We had to use Daniel's gift to break in. Whatever. Ooh, cold. Don't worry. We'll make a fire. We're pros now. <coughs> Dude, that cough doesn't sound too That's good. Like new uh, also. I'm okay. Just cold. You kicked ass today. Level up. I did. That was so cool. It's getting easier every day. Oh no, Sean. This is a haunted house. More like, uh-oh, it's time to go over the rules. I told you about showing off. I was just... Whatever. Dude, I know the rules. Let's find out. I'm right, back. What? What's the Where first one? <laughs> no, I just... Cabin? Absolutely nothing. Hide your power. Is this the cabin that If you spin at? one plate yeah, in yeah. a diner, what happens? People will freak out. And when people freak, what do they do? They call the cops. Exactly. The uh, second rule another is... another origin story. Don't, uh... Never talk about it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> nice, Daniel. Because that's usually the hardest rule for you. <sighs> Shut up. <laughs> and the final rule? I know. Come on. Um... You can do it. Okay. Um... Avoid danger? Run from danger. This is the most important one. You know why? Uh, I don't know. I mean, with my power, I can help us. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't want to tell him to never do it. Only as a total last resort. How will I know that? If there's any other way of helping, do that first. Maybe if I had used it before, Dad might still be here. Well, yeah, obviously you can. Bend you were bullets. about three seconds too slow. <laughs> yeah. I shouldn't have let you alone. What does that mean? I shouldn't have let him go in the front yard by himself. No, nah, it's it's irrelevant. Daniel, you didn't even know that shit. Was out of your control. But look what happened to the policeman. Maybe this power is a curse or something. Hey, we have no clue what happened. And it's not your fault. <laughs> I watched it back and the, the neighbor kid definitely did fall on a rock or something. Don't worry, Mushroom. Yeah, okay. I don't know, it only happens in movies where Good you're puppy. falling on a rock and you die. She must be hungry. What about you? I don't think it killed him. You break your spine. <laughs> and let's grub out. I'll make us some dinner. <laughs> yeah. Before she eats us. <laughs> Alright. Let's see how we live. We scored with these clothes. Plus five street cred. He's definitely a fast learner. Maybe too fast. We're so lucky this thing is still working. Wouldn't have lasted long without heat. Wood and fire are two things that we can get. Oh, shit. 
Where did I put my lighter? Magazines. We're so lucky this thing is still working. No, Wouldn't have lasted long without heat. The guy who came here sure had time to kill. Mushroom's cushion. Mushroom clung to Daniel on the first nights. But now she loves her bed by the fire. Thank God kids used to spend vacations here. Daniel would have been mad without these. Yeah, like I was saying last time, this hot dog man is like a running thing. I, yeah. It's not clear exactly what he is. He's some sort of kid's character. Daniel needs a doggo friend. No, he doesn't. Ready for today's training, puppy? <laughs> sit. Shroom, sit. Seriously, girl. Sit. Mushroom. Sit, girl. Are you kidding me? You just don't know how to talk to her. I'll remember this, traitor. He's not your dog. Don't worry about it. I hate it when I hear Daniel crying at night. I can't do shit. Kind of weird to use stranger stuff every day, but not like we have a choice. There was a little bit left when we came. Pretty it's disgusting, but kind of it, it kind of helps ends staying up warm. Feeling like The Walking Dead. There's no one around. You know, you happen to be places that are conveniently deserted. Uh, you're traveling from place to place. You never stay anywhere. Can't too believe long. how much Daniel's powers have improved over the last weeks. Keep meeting new people because you're a nomad. Wish I had more than tobacco, to be honest. I wish I helped Dad more with the house chores back then. Yeah, great. Shoot, poor doggy's out of water. Yeah, we got plenty of water. <laughs> hey, Shroom. You thirsty? <laughs> Good girl. Feels weird to be living in their home. It is weird. Dad and Maggie and John, heck at the fall, summer 93. <laughs> so they've probably been here a while. Poor guy. I guess. Kids have to grow up anyway, right? Daddy Hill, P.O. Box 367, Cascadia, Oregon. Hi, Dad. Say hello to your little girl in Miami. Yes, there's a sun here, and it burns. I love it. Tom knows everybody, and I keep waiting to beat Scarface. Oh, Miami. We're at his friend's killer condo with a beach view and balcony. I feel so spoiled, but I know John is at a castle in the Alps, so I don't feel so bad. Plus, I really like it here. What a great way to start the new century. So, again, this is pretty old. I miss our vacation at the Secret Lodge, but I don't miss the raccoons in my room. Uh-oh. Hope you can come visit soon after summer, and love you, Meg. You know what? While I wonder I'm reading, how far it can go. While I'm reading things, because... I, um... I'm curious to read Daniel's inventory. He's got a bunch of pine cones. Well, I'm sure this will pay off somehow. All right, whatever. Got four bucks. <laughs> right, picked up a pocket knife. Still got these cut. Um, yeah, I wanna. Oh wait, does my phone work? Where's my phone? Do I have a phone? No, I wanted to check my all the old messages from Dad and Lila. I didn't read them last time because there were too many of them. I wanted to read them. I don't see my phone.
Oh my god, I threw. Of course, I threw my phone in the ocean. Alright. I have to go back and. Look at it. Feels almost good to be cut off from everything. Yep. No more indoor training sessions. Oh, I see. Okay. Bubble bath for the. What is this for the dog? Hello, motel room soap. Oh, we stole it. No way I can give any of these to Daniel. <sighs> Too risky. I don't know. I mean, once you get used to squatting, it's not so bad. Probably your worst risk is they don't do anything. Once you get used to squatting, it's not so bad. Wait. Pro tip: always boil the water, unless you want Daniel spraying nasty things on both ends. I made that both ends joker. This is rank. <sighs> Sharing with Daniel was the worst. <sighs> no more peeing at night for Daniel. He got so scared. We're lucky he didn't blow up the house. I mean, this is a house, but this is not... This is it feels weird to loot other people's clothes, but... Way to live. We need the warmth. A uh, container. <laughs> at least we have fresh water in our front yard. Add water? Laundry water? Okay, maybe I can wash Hey, I, can wash I put some towel. clean water in the bathroom so you can wash a little. Um, yeah. okay. It's hard to expect that nine year olds to do chores like his actual, you know, adult. Safety depends upon it. Kids don't understand. This thing is strong as a rock. No, oh, yeah. Nice fort, Daniel. All that Minecraft paid off. Gotta love one hit wonders. So, yeah, this is like a house that they used like in the late 1990s and they haven't been back. Uh, lots of stuff. Why can't I move around? Oh, yeah. He definitely cared for us. What a piece of shit. Oh, okay, so this guy is believed to be responsible for the death of a Seattle police officer. Okay, so we've established he's dead. Um, and this guy, the gas station owner, is saying he was trying to help us. Yep. Dick move. How can I feel bad for him? Family recalls gentle officer killed in Seattle.